Hello lovely and beautiful people. I'm back again. I'm back again. We're trying to waste no time. And something tells me that today's video is going to be kind of long uh, because I want to I want to start developing the the shopping cart page as well and I didn't quite do this on the other app to test it so I will try to do it live to speed up the process but uh, for our on our last video we had an error oops I guess I fixed it wait let me try to create the error again it was something like yeah it was something like this so this is where we left off actually on a blank screen so the goal for today is to fix this first and uh, Add the similar products and start developing the shopping cart section uh, let's do it before we start with that stuff uh, still here on our UI there's something I would like to change and let's go to the image carousel as you know to open a, sp a specific widget just click control and then click on it and it will go to that particular okay I want to change this so I will just put here dot bg color and give it colors dot transparent control save it and I guess that now it looks somehow better Okay, nothing too big, nothing too fancy, but still makes a difference, I guess. Um, now, let us solve this problem. The first problem I encountered when I started developing for Flutter is it was kind of scary and difficult for me to understand the errors because when you get an error, you get something like this. Let me open this. Yeah, you get something like this and ladies and gentlemen, this is scary. You don't even know how or where to start, but you just have to go to the beginning because usually the error is written on the first three lines or so. And let us read what's happening. Exception caught by scheduler blah blah blah. The following assertion was strong during the scheduler callback. Okay. There are multiple heroes that share the same tag. I don't really know what happened, but it's telling me that this hero widget has a tag. And usually a tag is like an ID to identify a specific widget. And it's telling me that it's finding different heroes with this same tag. I don't know how. I don't know why. But to fix this problem, just give a different tag here. And what I did was just, I just created a text widget. And provide the tag of hero one you can do anything here you can write anything you want hero two hero seven even if you just write a it's up to you let's run the application again and it's back on business everything working perfectly fine um we have that stuff out now what are we going to do um another thing i would like to do here is to give the ability now to go back to the main page you have to click this arrow i would like to give the user the ability of just clicking here and loading the main page just clicking the name of the app here so how are we going to do that stuff uh we will do something like Product details is what you have to open and go to the top and here you have this up bar title this is what we want to change right so to make things easy just click that lamp new widget we are going to give this inkwell widget and we're going to provide um, 
on tab what we want you to do on tab we want you to load the main page uh, to make that possible first we have to import here import package shop app tooth main dot dart is it defined here let me open just to make sure that the home page is defined here in the main yes it is uh, we have this here now how are we going to call that that is by navigator and instead of writing off context then push you can just this is a small shortcut just write push then here will provide the route which is going to be material page route builder you're going to provide the function which checks the context as the argument and returns and returns what new home page then close it here and we're good to go run the app again click on anything then click over here and we're back simple but quite interesting uh, another thing I would like us to do now here let us do a small modification which is coming over here and for the remove this icon control save it done I guess it looks better like this we don't need to have the shopping cart over here because we have it here okay uh, what else can we do the categories I don't think we really need to repeat them because we already have them here so the user can pick a category from here so I'll just come over here and I will not quite remove but I will change this where is our drawer where is our drawer oh on the main okay you open main then we're going to okay here you have it so zoom a little bit I'll change this to shopping cart and I will put shopping cart here good then we could do something like colors just to change the color of the icons colors dot red let me copy this stuff over here copy it okay come to the favorite paste it come here paste it and repeat the process what are we doing is basically changing the colors of these icons control save this stuff done and down here we don't really need to have these colors like this so I'll just clean up this stuff good oh uh, now let's add the similar product section down here <clears throat> how are we going to do this is very simple we are going to open the product session 
we will create a class down here it's going to be a stateful because most of the time probably will need to change the state of this widget then I'm going to write similar products since the working of the similar products and the working of the products are quite the same we don't really want to write this over again so I'm just going to products.dart I'm going to click on this stuff here and we copy this let's go back to the mm, I guess I over copied okay open up products uh, first copy the list of products uh, and when we implement the backend of this we are going to get this stuff automatically but since we're not on that stage yet just be patient oh no I guess I did the right thing that time oops Okay, we're going to copy the content of the product section. You come to the similar products and just like magic, you paste the stuff. We can just decrease the number of content here to make it different from the main page, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now we don't have the single product class or widget as you want to call it. But I'll just come here, copy this stuff. We have this stuff copied. Down, down. We paste the stuff and I guess we are good to go but to avoid problems in the future having this widget to same name I'll write here similar single product just to have a difference so that we don't run into issues in the future and I'll paste this stuff here I really hope you guys are understanding what's happening here we're just copying and pasting basically the content of the the main page because the structure is the same and we are pasting here okay nothing too fancy nothing too special um so what now similar products is what we want so you can just write here similar product section and I'll give new container okay I may just stop over using the new I'll just give container then height 360 it's good and then I'm going to give child similar product I'll run the app again and see if we have issues or not and it seems like we don't but still we may need to do some stuff here 
like for example I adding a divider would be nice adding a small divider wouldn't hard oops then we can add the small text as well new text and for the text we're going to give oh what is it similar products is fine we may just need to just to make things nice add a small padding so it's done guys <clears throat> We have here the similar products and all of that good stuff. Okay. Uh, here we may need to test out the different values for the container height. But this is really just up to you. I guess it's good. Okay. So, uh, I really wanted to start developing this on this particular video, but I think it's going to be very lengthy. So, what are we going to do is leave this stuff here for now and the next one which is going to be very soon is going to be quicker than this is it okay i'm just making sure everything is working fine and uh now check the difference of why why would would we want to make this take us to the main page because sometimes I can just come here, then open a similar product, it's going to open a different page, then open a similar product again. And if I just click to go back, I will go back here, then go back here. And sometimes we don't want to do this stuff, we want to go to the main page directly. So even if I come here, then I come here, then I come here, just when I want to go straight to the main page, I just click here. And it's done okay I really hope you did enjoy this video guys uh, I'll be cooking cook by cooking I mean coding or preparing the next video regarding the the card shopping cart page and soon 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 very soon we will be done with the UI it's taking us a while so we want to finish this stuff to go back to the to go to the good stuff the back end of this and uh, if you did enjoy the video like if you did enjoy the video leave a comment uh, or you can criticize uh, anything just thank you for the support thank you for watching i hopefully see you on the next one bye bye oops bye <laughs>